you can probably tell by the title up there, this is the um, unboxing of Parallels Desktop 3 for Mac. Um, just show you right there. Sorry about the glare. Now, I've got this from um, Belgium because I'm currently based here. Um, now, I think in, in the US it's like uh, $80, something like that, for this particular package of Parallels. Now, $80, which that equates to probably about Fifty euros, around about. Now this in Belgium is seventy nine euros. <laughs> I wasn't that impressed to be honest, uh, but I need it. Um, so basically, it, I had to buy it. Um, now when I bought it, I actually looked at the box to see who develops Parallels because originally I didn't know. Um, and it's a company called Avonquest Software, which kind of pissed me off to be honest because. I get junk mail from Avonquest software constantly and it is absolutely impossible to unsubscribe from their junk and I have no idea how I subscribe to it in the first place. Anyway, that's enough about me babbling about Avonquest. Um, let's go ahead and open this. Now, don't try this at home unless you've got an adult supervising you or you're over 18, blah blah blah, we don't condone this, whatever, whatever. But I've got the huge knife and I've got the box. <laughs> so. I'm going to go open it up. I'm just going to put a slate over here. Nice and easy. Um, thing is, in this box isn't actually very much. Um, I don't see why they give it such a large packaging. If you see, for a big box, that is all you get. <laughs> it's kind of useless, really. I think you need to take a page out of Apple's book, that's what you get. A couple of pages, so you've got the uh, CD there. You've got Parallels Desktop Addendum. If no one knows what addendum means, then maybe you could tell me because I have no idea. So there's that, nothing much. And there's the instruction manual with the key on the back side. Uh, nothing really special. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Windows Vista Ultimate because if you were watching my comments a while back you'll know that I did say um, if Apple were to release new iPod Shuffles just after I received one from my girlfriend thank you very much <laughs> um, I thought I would switch to Windows. Now what I meant by that was obviously I'd get parallels because I'm not leaving Mac um, so I've gone ahead and got myself Parallels Desktop 3. What I'm going to do for you as well is hopefully um, try to do a quick tutorial on how to use it but whilst running the webcam so you can see my head in the bottom left, bottom right, blah 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 and then you're going to see me running uh, the screen capture software on there. Hopefully um, I'll be able to do it, if not, then tough luck. <laughs> okay, um, I've got a quick question, not regarding this topic, uh, but it's about Xiphone 2.5. I know that Danny Zace uh, recently got himself an iPhone, and I was wondering if he, because I know it's from the UK, so have you, this is a question to you basically directly, but have you um, had any problems with, let's say out of the box, I think you would have had 1.1.3 out of the box, and just literally plug it in, start Xiphone off and it hasn't had a problem. Um, or has it had problems? Because I'm basically looking to get myself um, an iPhone from the UK, uh, but wasn't quite sure whether it was, it was worthwhile. So if you could actually either do a video response, Danny, or just drop a quick comment, I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much, mate. Bye.